when we type a code it will contain some error it throws error instead of that it gives only the what type of error message we are getting if this statement is false or failed to check the condition it will come out of the loop and execute what else part this is how else if ladder will be work so when we run the program or block of the code in r or in any r console it will execute it will throw some errors that is what exception hello students welcome to the session 2 of unit 2 in statistical computing and also r programming so we can see in a unit 2 of session 2 that is reading and writing files in a session 1 and here in unit 2 we can see the control statements of the r programming so this is asha the faculty of computer science at vidyashram first grade degree college the temple of excellence mysuru so let's discuss about the today's session so here you can see in today's session we can cover the decision making statement coding loops exceptions and also handlers and also what do you mean by timings so here you can see a decision making statements there are expression used to control so if we want to control any code we can use a decision making statements so based on some conditions we have to give us some conditions then only we can control the statements so here you can see are provided what are all the condition statements are providing the first one is if condition this controller structure checks the expression provided in a parenthesis is true or not if the condition is true it will be executed if false it will be come out out of the loop that is what if condition uh, so we can see this is also simple if so here you can see the basic syntax if expression we have to how can we write if we have to give some expression or the condition we can say and open the curly parenthesis we give a set of statement to execute a block of code then close so here you can see one example so i as an a value called 100 to x so when i check that x is greater than 10 so x is greater than 10 it will be printed right so and also here you can see the next is if else condition it is also similar to condition but when the test expression condition fails so when the test expression is condition is fails then only if else loop so which contains if along with the what else so here you can see the basic syntax if condition and also set of statements so else and also set of statements so likewise it contains a if and also else loop so that's why it's called a if else loop so let's see the one example again i assign a value called phi to x variable so condition if x greater than 10 so what is greater than 10 so else x is less than 10 so what is the value x is less than 10 right so that's why this statement will be printed so let's see the another that is the if else ladder means if else if ladder so the statement inside the if parenthesis we can have a else if else if statements so here you can see it is similar if to here only difference is if the statement attached to else if the condition provided so here you can see within the if block it will get executed so here you can see the basic syntax under the if condition we have what else condition and again else condition so like how it hide cast contain a similar else if statement inside a what if statement so here one example you will get to know what exactly i a when i assign 67 to a variable and also 76 to b variable and also what 99 to c variable so when i combine when i compare these two and also these two using a and operation if a greater than b and also b greater than c the condition will be printed a greater than c greater than c is also true and also else if when i compare a b and also b c the condition will be a less than b and also greater than c it will be printed and another one else if when the this statement will be printed means this statement will be true then only the else if block will be executed if this statement is false or failed to check the condition it will come out of the loop and execute what else part this is how else if ladder will be work and next you can see looping concept means the statement keep on repeating or sequence of repeating we called what loops so loops in r mainly for loop while loop and also repeat loop and also here you can see in r programming we require a control structure to run block of code multiple times so we have to generate a sequence of numbers then we can use a loop because we have to print a keep on printing numbers up to 10 so in that case we use a we call a for loop or while loop or repeat loop it will be printed sequentially 
how many numbers we want so likewise so and also here you can see fundamental and also strongly programming a loop can control a statement that allows user to make a what multiple execution of a any statement so here you can see these are all the basic are providing basic what are those for loop while loop and also what repeat loop so let's see what do you mean by a for loop so here you can see for for loop we have a syntax call the for for while and also what repeat these are all the functions so but we have to generate a sequence of character or sequence of numbers so we have to use a for loop a value in a sequence so if you don't understand the syntax so let's look into the example then you will get to know so for a value of sequence open the curly parenthesis and also set up statements to block off code to run the execution and also here you can see one example so our program to demonstrate using so here you can see for our loop i pass a called variable value in variable value in 1 to 5 means it will printed what 1 to up to what 5 so this is how it will be printed when i print the value it will printed up to what 5 this is how for loop will be worked and also here you can see a while loop in r it is a type of control statement that will be run as a statement and also a statement repeatedly unless the given condition becomes a false so while loop is nothing but it will also a uh, generate a sequence of numbers but when the condition is false it will really get out of the loop means come out of the loop so here you can see the basic syntax a while with a condition and also curly parenthesis inside the curly parenthesis we have to give a set of statements likewise and also here you can see one example of the while loop so when i assign value is equal to 1 and also using the while loop that is less than or equal to 5 so what i give a condition is value less than or equal to 5 and also the statement will be printed value along with value here you can see a value plus 1 so means what a 1 2 3 4 5 this is only it will be printed why because the value starting from the 1 so values are already given the condition so when it will while loop will be stopped so here you can see less than or equal to 5 if a loop is contains only value less than 5 means value less than 5 so it will generate what 1 2 3 4 so because when keep on repeating why because here you can see value start from 1 so first it will be printed 1 and 1 plus 1 again 2 2 plus 2 plus 1 what 3 3 plus 1 what 4 4 plus 1 what 5 so up to 5 when i pi plus 1 means 5 plus 1 is 6 right so it will not generate why because the condition is applied here value less than or equal to 5 only so that's why while loop is when the condition becomes false it will come out of the loop and also here you can see repeat loop so it's a simple loop that will run a same statement a group of statements repeatedly until the steps becomes encountered so it will keep on repeating means it generates a sequence of number sequence of character likewise so that's why it will be repeated until the condition becomes true so for that we need a syntax so here you can see see the syntax a syntax contains some sentence means statements a block of code inside the block of code call the if condition if a condition is true then it will go to the loop that is called a break so close this so let's see one example you will get to know what exactly how repeat loop will be worked so as in a value called one and also call the repeat loop set of statement what is that print of value this value but we have a condition value is equal to value plus 1 and also if checking the condition means if val greater than or equal to 5 means greater than 5 so it will be break means when the value goes up to the 5 means more than 5 so it will be break up to only 1 2 3 4 this is how the value will be printed using the what repeat loop and also here you can see exceptions uh, exceptions in our programming typically occurring during the what run time so when we run the program or block of the code in r or in any r console it will execute it will throw some errors that is what exception so exception is nothing but a, a type of error means when i run a code i get some errors right so likewise so we can see what are the type of the errors we can get while running the code so error occurs when an operation cannot be completed due to some syntax errors means some critical conditions and also the type the first type is syntax error 
mistake in the code structure or missing the parenthesis. So for example, if we don't close the parenthesis called this or else a close this means when we open the round parenthesis but we didn't close that is also syntax error. So that is what syntax error come to the runtime error error that occurs during the execution that is division by zero or accessing out of bound means array index out of the bound. So in that case I got a runtime error and also type error. So occur when operations are performed on incompatible data types that is example trying to perform a mathematical operations on character vector. So mathematical operation will only take under a numbers numerical right but I perform what I try I forcefully tie what mathematical operations character strings. So here one example you can see for exceptions I declare only x that should be 1 2 3 but I access the index value called 5 but here only index value starting from 0 1 2 but I accessing which element means which index value 5. So that's why it throw a one exception called what out of bounds error got it now this is how the exception will be worked. For this we have handling errors means exception is thrown by the system but we have to handle that error. So how can we handle or providing the exception handlers techniques. So let's look into the one by one handlers. So here you can see exception handlers to handle exception R provides a function called try and try catch and also what with calling handlers. These are all the special functions inbuilt functions we have to call and we have to pass the parameters means valid parameters then only it will be executed. So here you can see using the try block means try function how can we get over from the exception. So a try block is nothing but it's a function allows you to attempt a operation and return a error message instead of halting a execution means it will break a execution means runtime error but we use a what try catch to reduce the what error message it throw a error message instead of halting execution in the sense it will break the code means when we type a code it will contain some error it throws error instead of that it gives only the what type of error message we are getting. So let's look into the syntax now so here you can see one example a result contain a try block within the try block this is a function right try is closed here open here but we have to parenthesis call what flower parenthesis and what is my code to get a error x 1 by 0 as I already told 1 by 0 means this is called a infinity in mathematical but in other programming this is completely invalid right so that's why so this will cause a error division by 0 but silent is equal to true means silent is equal to true is nothing but one parameter when we execute a code it will give some error so that will be completely blocked by using the silent keyword is equal to true. So then call the if statement use the inherits function result what is the result so here result call the result and also try error. So what will be the condition message means condition message to the result so it will be printed else and also cat statement a result is equal to an error occurred divisible by 0. So why because the error what is the error an error occurred is the message but when we give a condition message what is the condition 1 by 0 is division by 0 that is the error occurred when I divide 0 from any number it will get division by 0 that is the error message using the try block. So using the try catch block. So try catch provides a more control over a error handling allowing you to specify different actions for a different types of conditions like a error message warnings and also some conditional message. So see one example how it will be work. So using the try catch block result call the try catch block. So inside the try catch block call the x and also call the y. So what is x 1 2 3 and also what is y x of 5 means we accessing the out of bounds. So as I already told 0 1 2 3 is the index values but I accessing a element called within a 5 index means fifth induction but here only 3 numbers are there but when I give a 5 it will give a pop up with the error that is accessing out of bounds and also what is the error message for that function of e and also when I printing the cat function with the error message 
means dollar dollar means uh, it acts as a what address of the message and return what na means na means error occurs a result can be printed so what is that error an error occurred subscript out of the bound the result na not available will be printed so the last one using the with calling handlers with calling handlers is a function allows for a more complex error handling so if a error contains more complex problem we can use a with calling handlers for that catching errors and also warnings in a more granular way and also one example with calling handlers you have to use a small letter but c is a capital h is also capital and open the parenthesis inside that pass the curly parenthesis and so we try to divide what 1 by 0 and also the error message will be printed and also what is the printing statement caught an error so it access the error message using the dollar sign and also return a null value so return a default value or a it will printed a null value or also what in a not available so here you can see one output for this program caught an error divisible by 0 result is null this is how the exception will be work so what are all the exception handlers try try catch and also with calling handlers these are all the errors handled by the what these are all the providing by the r programming so let's see the timings so timing is nothing but a in r related to measuring how long it takes for a piece of code so for example if i do a task it have some time right so for example consider when i multiply 223 into 1046 it will take some time to calculate as a human being so when i give this to computer it will give a result 0.001 second not only point 1 second it will give a 0.001 second within that we can get a result for human being it can take some times right likewise a timing in r related to measuring how long it will run a piece of code to execute so this can be important by performing optimizing and benchmarking so using some special available what function so we can measuring the timing of the code while running the r codes so are providing several what functions to calculate the timing of the any code running of any code the first one system dot time so this function measures the amount of time taken to evaluate an expression so and also here you can see one example a timing result is variable name and also when i as a in system dot time call the system dot time as i already told system dot time is a function name all function name should be in a what small letters only so open the parenthesis curly parenthesis system dot sleep of to so when the sleep timing is goes to up to 2 the system will be stopped automatically so when i print the statement the whatever the code contains a timing it will be printed using what system dot time here and also the second one here you can see a micro benchmark it is also one of the function for time handling this package provides a more precise timing measures and also especially useful for comparing the performance of small code snippets and also here you can see one example practical example call the library microbench so if a function is already in build so we can load that function using what library if not there you can use a microbench mark so you have to install you have to install the microbench mark so then only you can load using the library function so it's already there call the library function within that pass the micro benchmark and also for result i call the micro benchmark so as i already told this is already loaded but i have to use that function right into the current code so that's why so load that here means call the micro benchmark function within that a method when contains a system dot sleep up to 1 second and also method 2 system dot sleep up to 2 seconds so the times will be 10 so it will print the result as a as we required likewise the r provides timing to measure a how long the code will be run so and the system how long the system will take the time for any one code or it will be completely dependent on the user's code right likewise r provides these two are the main timing functionality thank you